Hello guys, in this quick video I'm going to attempt to find a solution for uh, this particular uh, laptop where the CPU is stuck, in my case, at 1.6 GHz. Okay, just to get this out of the way, there are some people reporting on this uh, Lenovo E60, uh, sorry, E7440 that they have the CPU uh, at 0 0.8 gigahertz, so half of what I get here, and it seems that in some cases, just removing the battery and powering the laptop on without the battery fixes the problem, and then you can try to put back the battery. Uh, I haven't tried that yet on my laptop. I will try that, uh, and if it doesn't work then I don't know, try other settings and see what we can get from them. With the battery out and the charger disconnected, I will hold uh, the power button in for about 30 seconds, maybe even one minute. This is a kind of hard reset for uh, many laptop models. So, yeah, I will continue to hold it. Ok, at this point, plug in uh, the charger. I just want to add that in my case I have a 90 watts uh, charger, so the charger is not the problem for sure because it is way more than uh, uh, powerful enough to take this laptop to the maximum that it can do. So clearly it's not from that. It just got stuck in a lower power uh, level, probably from uh, it overheating because uh, the thermal paste was really dry and if you want to change your thermal paste I will link a video in the description where I do some work on this particular laptop and uh, I actually do change the paste it was, it was really 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 bad so let's see what we get now hopefully uh, this changed and we will actually get the maximum that this CPU can do but uh, remains to be seen. Yeah, I am seeing 1596, so I think we are still at 1.6. Let me just uh, start task manager and see what uh, it says to us. 1.6. Yeah, don't like, don't like the looks of that. That's bench CPU. Yeah. So it's not going to 100%, it stays at 61%, which means 1.6 GHz. Let me just zoom on it, so you can see we are still at the same uh, situation as we were before. At this point I'm going to go into the BIOS and see if there are any settings in the BIOS that could uh, be affecting uh, this thing. So, let's get to it. To enter the BIOS, on this particular laptop, if I remember correctly, it's F2. Restart and get ready to smash F2. Any moment now, and you can start smashing F2. And we should be getting the BIOS. Okay, now I'm going to think around and see if I get uh, any setting that is related to the CPU speed. I'm just going to disable Intel speed step just to see what uh, it changes. Mm, yeah, I don't know. This is a bit weird. I will also disable C states just in case. Turbo boost. Hmm. I will let it enable for the moment. Yeah. Okay. Exit and see what we get. Hmm. Not really sure if this will help. Just heard it spin up really, really fast. It uh, wasn't doing that before but I don't think it's enough
well actually I think we picked uh, at 2.6 gigahertz hmm so either C states or speed step is causing this thing to to go down in speed let's uh, start CPU Z and see if we we run it if we get a better score and uh, if the cooler will make more noise yeah for sure we were getting only about 400 before we are almost at 700 and this thing is at 100 percent yep so it's not uh, it's not really clear what's killing the performance in this thing. I will try to enable speed step but leave C states disabled and see what we actually get. High speed video will continue until I find the final solution. Okay, tried a bunch of things and the only one that consistently worked was uh, letting Intel speed step disabled in the BIOS and the C states it's enabled at this point and this is how this laptop will remain. Yes, it constantly runs at 2.6 gigahertz. Uh, not 100% ideal but it's way better than it running at maximum 1.6 gigahertz because I could actually feel it slower even when booting up so honestly I don't know what's up with this you might try if you want to update your BIOS for example but from what I've read uh, online people don't really report any success with that and yeah at this frequency this laptop is really 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 quiet after I've cleaned uh, the cooling and changed the thermal paste so yeah it is what it is this is my my decision my option I will leave it like this again if you find any other solution that is better please tell us in the comments maybe it will help somebody and yeah that's about it maybe reinstalling windows would help also I've got no clue this is the far first time I'm seeing a problem like this and it's really weird so yeah that's about it thank you very much for watching hopefully this video uh, at least helps, uh, helps you run your CPU at its maximum speed even if it's not the perfect solution but hey sometimes you you use what you you get and yeah that's about it Thank you very much again and uh, as always see you in the next one. Bye.